the press. Presently, we are at Ekpan Police Station at Uye, local government area of Delta State. On the 27th of August 2023, at about 2100 hours, while patrol team attached to Ekpan Police Station were on patrol stroke visibility duty at the refinery road here in Uye. They intercepted one troops, Chinye, dressed, he happens to be a male, but he was dressed like a lady. Upon intercepting him, he told the policeman that he is an actor that came from Lagos State to shoot a movie here in Delta State. They brought him to the station and continued interrogating him before he now gave us a confessional statement that he belongs to the gay society and they are having a ceremony at one hotel called Tibulus Hotel along Refinery Road here in Ekman. At about 0200 hours, that is the, at that, the midnight of, of 28th of August 2023, the police stormed the hotel where about 200 suspects were initially arrested. Majority of them all dressed like females. And the funniest part of it, or rather the amazing part of it was that we saw two suspects dressed, one as the bride and one as the groom, as you can see. And there is a, there is a video recording where they were actually performing their wedding ceremony. After screening them, we have about 67 suspects that we are parading today. We are still investigating, and I want to assure Deltans and Nigerians that they will be charged to court soonest upon completion of investigation. We are bringing this out to the world to know, especially Nigerians. We are in Africa and we are in Nigeria. We cannot copy the Western world because we don't have the same culture. We don't have the same culture. We don't have the same tradition. In the year 2013, a law, a bill was passed and approved that speaks against this. And I'm telling you, the least sentence upon conviction if found guilty is 14 years imprisonment. Then for accomplices, that is, people who hate and abet these people, they go for 10 years imprisonment. So this is not something that will be allowed in Nigeria. It will never be tolerated. And the police, as the lead agency when it comes to internal security and also prosecution of all criminal offenses, we cannot watch this folding our arms. And that was why the DPO and his men swung into action, arrested about 67 of them. And I can guarantee that they will be charged to court soonest and will ensure that we secure conviction.